Alrighty. So this is how to uh, remove one of these beautiful, beautiful looking drop-in stoves. Uh, this one obviously has to be fairly new, you know, 2010 model, I'd assume. Uh, first thing I did was you, you need to go through and loosen up these grout holes, uh, where the grout is surrounding the stove, to what it's built into. Um, so once you do that, then you can kind of put get a putty knife and put it underneath and pop this little uh, top part up here. <clears throat> so pop this top part up and what holds this drop-in stove uh, in here, I had four screws, two on each side, um, and those were screwed into the cabinets. So I unscrewed those and once you, once you get those out, this bad boy should be able to scooch out pretty good. As long as you have those grout lines, uh, as long as you busted through those grout lines and it's not still held in there. I recommend using two bodies, two people, because these things can be a little heavy or don't want to drop it, but I got my buddy old Grimes over here. He's going to help me scoot this thing out. Come on, Grimes. Pull this bitch out. So pretty simple to get it scooted out and get it started. <laughs> so what you got here, these drop-in stoves are drop-in or built-in. So this thing's built into the uh, countertop. So they have this little area back behind it where um, if you're going to switch to a freestanding stove, then you're going to need to take this out. You can hammer this little uh, woods, wood section out uh, and uh, you can just basically just hammer up and it'll come up. Uh, also you're gonna have down here at the floor you're gonna have to do some sawing. So this thing, uh, these drop-ins, they drop right in this like, just like the name suggests so that they look like they're built into the countertop. So um, you look down here, there's a couple little molding pieces that I can just tap off and then we're gonna have the legit trim uh, that runs along the whole floor that we're gonna have to saw off. So I use my reciprocating saw. We go on each side and go right through it. I do this just to get started and then I go back with a hacksaw or something fine toothed and uh, straighten it up. That way it looks all pretty. And there you go. Too easy.